fungus, with their diverse forms and functions, contribute significantly to the ecosystem. However, within this rich tapestry of fungal species, there exist some that harbor potent toxins, posing grave risks to human health upon ingestion or even contact. These ten fungi stand out for their lethality and the severe consequences they bring about. The hooded killer, Conocide filaris, also known as Foliaptina rugosa, earned the ominous moniker, the hooded killer, due to its innocuous appearance, concealing lethal potency. Despite its small and unassuming stature, this fungus houses a dangerous compound akin to those found in notorious poisonous fungi. Ingestion of this deceptive fungus triggers life-threatening symptoms that swiftly affect the nervous system, potentially leading to seizures and fatal outcomes. Its unobtrusive appearance emphasizes the critical importance of accurate identification and expertise when encountering wild fungus. Awareness of the hooded killer is pivotal to avoid severe neurological complications. The vibrant warning, fly agaric. The fly agaric, with its vibrant red cap adorned with white speckles, stands as a striking symbol in the fungal world, a stark warning rather than an invitation. Known for its hallucinogenic properties, this fungus contains psychoactive compounds like mosamol and ibotenic acid. Despite its allure, consuming the fly agaric can induce a range of effects from euphoria to delirium, along with nausea, dizziness, and in severe cases, seizures or coma. Its eye-catching appearance serves as a potent reminder of nature's duality, beauty masking potential danger. The Deadly Imposter Autumn Skullcap The Autumn Skullcap, Gallerina marginata, is a species of extremely poisonous fungus in the family Hymenogastraceae of the order Agaricales. It is also known as Funeral Bell, Deadly Skullcap, or Deadly Gallerina. The fruit bodies of the fungus have brown to yellow-brown caps that fade in color when drying. The gills are brownish and give a rusty spore print. A well-defined membranous ring is typically seen on the stems of young specimens, but often disappears with age. Ingestion of this fungus in toxic amounts causes severe liver damage with vomiting, diarrhea, hypothermia, and eventual death if not treated rapidly. It contains the same deadly anatoxins found in the death cap, Amanita phalloids. It is widespread in the Northern Hemisphere, including Europe, North America, and Asia, and has also been found in Australia. It is a wood-rotting fungus that grows predominantly on decaying conifer wood. Sarcocypha cochinia, also known as the scarlet elf cup, is a species of fungus that belongs to the family Sarcocyphaceae of the order Pezizales. It is widely distributed in the Northern Hemisphere, including Africa, Asia, Europe, North and South America, and Australia. The fruiting body of the fungus is cup-shaped and has a scarlet red upper surface and a white undersurface. It grows on decaying sticks and branches in damp spots on forest floors, generally buried under leaf litter or in the soil. The edibility of the fruit bodies is well established, but its small size, small abundance, tough texture, and insubstantial fruitings would dissuade most people from collecting it for the table. The fungus has been used medicinally by the Oneida Native Americans and also as a colorful component of table decorations in England. Lurid Bolites, Sulelus luridus. Lurid Bolites, Sulelus luridus, is a species of fungus that belongs to the family Baltaceae. It is commonly known as the Lurid Bolete and is found in calcareous broadleaved woodlands in Europe. The fruit bodies of the fungus appear in summer and autumn and may be locally abundant. It is a firm bolete with an olive-brown cap, up to 20 centimeters in diameter, with small orange or red pores on the underside, yellow when young. The stout ochre stem reaches 8 to 14 tem high and 1 to 3 tem wide, and is patterned with a red network. While edible and good when cooked, it can cause gastric upset when eaten raw and can be confused with the poisonous Boletus satanas. As a result, some guidebooks recommend avoiding consumption altogether. It is mycorrhizal, forming a symbiotic association with broad-leaved trees such as oak, chestnut, birch, and beech, 
and has been found to have a growth-enhancing effect on conifers in experiments. Satan's Belit, Rubrobolitis Satanus. Satan's Belit, Rubrobolitis Satanus, is a poisonous fungus belonging to the Bolitaceae family. It is also known as the Devil's Belit and was previously classified as Bolitis Satanus before being transferred to the new genus Rubrobolitis in 2014. The fritting body of the fungus is squat, brightly colored, and imposing, with a pale, dull-colored velvety cap up to 30 centimeters across, yellow to orange-red pores, and a bulbous red pattern stem. The flesh turns blue when cut or bruised, and overripe fruit bodies often emit an unpleasant smell reminiscent of carrion. Ingestion of this fungus in toxic amounts causes severe gastrointestinal symptoms of diarrhea and violent vomiting, and it is known to cause liver damage. It is widespread in the warmer regions of Europe and is classified as a poisonous fungus. Toxic tooth, Hidnellum pecchi. Toxic tooth, Hidnellum pecchi, is a species of indible fungus that belongs to the family Bancaraceae. It is also known as the bleeding tooth fungus, red juice tooth, or devil's tooth. The fritting body of the fungus is small, cup-shaped, and has a bright red velvety cap with a white edge. The underside of the cap is covered with small, spine-like projections that are coated with a red, blood-like fluid. The fungus is found in North America, Europe, and Asia, and grows on the ground in coniferous forests. Although it is not toxic, it is indidible due to its tough texture and insubstantial fritting. The fungus has been used medicinally by the Oneida Native Americans, and also as a colorful component of table decorations in England. Podostroma cornudama, Japanese death cap. Podostroma cornudama, referred to as the Japanese death cap, presents a lethal danger in its small reddish-brown appearance. Laden with trichothecene mycotoxins, Ingestion triggers severe gastrointestinal symptoms that can progress to multiple organ failure. Its resemblance to innocuous fungus underscores the critical need for accurate identification and caution when foraging wild fungus. Awareness of this perilous fungus is crucial to avert potentially fatal health complications. Ophia cordyceps unilateralis Ophia cordyceps unilateralis is a species of parasitic fungus that infects and manipulates the behavior of ants before killing them. It is also known as the zombie ant fungus. The fungus is largely pantropical and primarily infects carpenter ants, genus Camponitus. The fungus begins its life cycle as a sticky spore on the forest floor. If the spore attaches to the body of a passing carpenter ant, it germinates infective hyphae to breach the insect's exoskeleton. Once inside the ant body, the fungus grows and manipulates the ant's behavior, eventually positioning the ant in a warm, humid location near the ground that will best serve to distribute a new crop of fungal spores. After the ant dies, the fungus finishes digesting the cadaver from the inside out and, as its final act, erects a triumphant stalk from the base of its conquest's head. The zombie ant fungus is not known to infect humans. The menacing Mycena chlorophos. Mycena chlorophos is a species of bioluminescent fungus that emits a pale green glow. The fungus is found in subtropical Asia, including India, Japan, Taiwan, Polynesia, Indonesia, Sri Lanka, Australia, and Brazil. The fruit bodies, fungus, have pale brownish-gray sticky caps up to 30 mm in diameter atop, stems 6 to 13 mm long, and up to a millimeter thick. Fruiting occurs in forests on fallen woody debris, such as dead twigs, branches, and logs one. The fungus can be made to grow and fruit in laboratory conditions, and the growth conditions affecting bioluminescence have been investigated. Although the fungus is not known to be poisonous, it is indidible due to its tough texture and insubstantial fruitings. Let me know the comments which of these fungi seem used for a beneficial purpose. If you enjoy learning of poisonous things, like and subscribe for more top toxic topics.